What's going on, everyone? It's time for a classic horror film review. Today we're going to count. We're, today we're going to talk about Count Dracula. It was released September tenth, nineteen seventy three, and it's directed by Jesus Franco, who also did Vampire Lesbos, Nine Nine Woman, Ish, uh, I See You, The Wick, The Wicked Warden, and Eugene, The Story of Her. Um, this is a modern, well, not a modern, uh, more of a classic uh, tale of Dr Count Dracula, obviously. So this is uh, heavily or heavily um, influenced by Bram Stoker's Dracula. At the time, it was marketed as the most uh, faithful adaptation of Dracula, which is questionable, but they definitely get the characters down in this. Um, so Count Dracula, well... Yeah, it's the retelling of Dracula, where he, um, the vampire. So uh, you got the Dracula's castle and all that. I'm not going to break it down for you. It's the same as Dracula, the 1950s story, just done a little bit differently. This one focuses more on the characters and how they're trying to deal and cope with the situation, though, and how some people don't believe them in that. And uh, it goes pretty interesting <laughs> it's pretty odd too the way they do it it's very stylized like 70 most 70s films are and uh you can tell it's a lower budget film like when it, he's a bat it's clearly a bat on a string where they shot the silhouette <laughs> of it and it's done simplistically like that and uh it's not very intense or anything like that and then like when the villagers try to bring them to the castle in the daylight in his coffin and then people try to kill them it's done in a cheesy but more amusing way which i kind of found pretty humbling to watch and stuff it's because they don't make films like this anymore and uh there's a lot of cheesy moments in this where uh even when they confront count dracula it's not menacing or anything it just comes a weird standoff point and it's just ridiculous but cheesy as well this film is super dialogue heavy though which it doesn't need to be but for some reason they put a lot of pointless dialogue in it and it just slows the movie down quite a bit this is an only hour and a half film but it felt like two hours two and a half hours and it got it took a little while i was hoping this was going to be like witch finder general role where it just goes 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 but no this one is uh slow paced build up to not much and it wasn't really worth it, in my opinion. I think this is definitely, I definitely find horror of Dracula way better. And like those ones, like the Hammer ones, this is stylish to look like a Hammer film, but it's not. And uh, yeah, I found it just kind of dull. It's super slow and a little bit boring. So I'm going to give Count Dracula one and a half out of five. It's not that great. And uh but uh, if you like me and you like looking back at old movies, good or bad, um, it, you, you might find a little bit of enjoyment out of it like I did. But uh, yeah, overall, it's pretty slow and stale. So, But it is streaming on Screenbox and on Tubi, so I'll link one of those down there, down below so you can watch it for free down there. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram as well. I always post clips of films and review in the future on my story. You have the film time hashtag, the subject on the film and the hashtag, so you're aware of it. Also, my letterbox. Uh, I also my yeah, also my letterbox is down below. And Derek P reviews that's where I post my first star rating. I watch the films and my Twitch down below too. I mean, views underscore Derek. So follow me on those platforms. Stay loop this channel. Like this video, share some more people aware of the comment. Your opinions of the film down below if you have any. And if you have any films or film franchise in any genre and on any streaming service that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below too. I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. And make sure you uh, subscribe. Hopefully, find some weird here and odd. They probably never thought of checking out together. And also, so you my pins and popular films that come out, classic films and reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell because, well, we're going to do another Shutter film <laughs> for the next one, Late Night with the Devil. So make sure you tune in for that and uh, watch out for all those uh, crazy vampires lurking in our societies because, well, they're always there. So they're definitely around somewhere. And uh, I guess I'll see you all in the next review, and hopefully it's a little better than this. So until then, cheers.